So in the last video, we were learning how to create a logging form with Visual Basic and Microsoft Access database and using also the Android DC connection. Now, uh, this, this is our project. And remember we created uh, uh, some forms and then we have the database. So let's uh, revisit the project and run it. The username admin and the password submit. Login is successful. So this is now the dashboard and today we are going to be focusing on uh, how the things we can do on this dashboard form. Uh, but before that, there is something I want to, there is a bank I want to remove or to fix. I want when I log in, for example, when I log in, uh, admin, So I want that when I log in, I will not have two forms. So when I log into the da dashboard, this form should be exited automatically so that I don't have two forms, uh, two windows open on the, on the screen. So I want when I log into the dashboard, the login form will be unloaded. So to do that, it's a symbol just come here and enter the the code here just say unload load me you save so remember this is our login our login uh, code uh under dc dot record source equals select from login where username if the username matches the content of text text box one and the password matches the content of text box two then uh, uh, the code will continue we will execute this and then uh, will uh, a message box will be displayed if if it is not if it is not uh, correct this message box will be displayed. If it is correct, this message box will be displayed. And then immediately when we log in, uh, this form, this uh, the login form will be unloaded and the will be unloaded and the dashboard form will be loaded. So let's run and see. So, so that's it. That's okay. Now, today, let's focus on this uh, form. Now, let's say we want to create a library management system. So, let me pick a label. Put it there. Then the caption. The caption here is library. And system. Then we can change the font. Bold and make it dirty, then we can change the fold style. Mm, what does that one look like? First, it looks better.
library or library management system so a library management system now in a, a library uh, the types the modules that you need to have you need to have books because the work of a library is to receive books and issue books so it's to add new books uh, issue books and then uh, return books so you need to have a module that displays all the books another one that records the books issued another one that adds new books and another one that return the books so we can pick a command button another command button so this those are four modules and another command button and another command button So this is uh, display books. Display books. This is a uh, issue books. This is a uh, art books. And this is uh, return books. So you can change the font here. Old fifteen. Uh, this one also. Old fifteen. This one also. Old fifteen. And then this one also bold. 15 so that is it so each of these command buttons they are going to be connected to a form so if you have watched other videos in this channel you will see how i have done uh, those uh, I have connected these command buttons with the with the forms so if you click on this command button obviously there is a code that you write here so that when you click on this command button it opens a it opens a form where now the form that is also connected to a database and will be and the books will dis display and will the form will display the list of books the same happens to this also will be connected to a form that will dis dis display the books issued this uh, command button also will be connected to a database the a table in the database 
and a form whereby you can be able to add books and also this one will also be connected to another form and a table in the database whereby you can able, be able to uh, record the returned books so uh, so basically you need four forms and also you need to create uh, tables in the database and link them with the forms and also the forms should be connected with the, the command button so that when I click on this command button it opens a form so let's run So that's how it should look like. So that when I click on this, so right now when I click, nothing will happen because this command button is not linked to a form. So you have to link each of these command buttons to a form. And you also need to have to link that form to the database so that you can be able to record data. Okay. So if you watch other videos in this channel, you will see how I have uh, done this.